Hey loves, it's your girl April and I'm back to do my final review for my hair from NubianBar.com. So as you girls notice in like a lot of my videos, I've been wearing this hair right here which is the Kinky Straight and this is in the color tint number 10. So far this hair has been amazing to me. I have been wearing it for over a month and this is about the second time that I have flat ironed this hair. I will be honest and tell you that I do like it more or less in its kinky natural looking state opposed to it being like flat ironed. The flat iron will take a minute to flat iron because it is kinky straight hair. So let me tell you, if you ever want to get kinky straight hair and you decide that you want to flat iron it, just be prepared that it will take you a while to flat iron it. The best suggestion that I could give you for flat ironing kinky straight hair is to make sure that it is clean prior to flat ironing it, making sure there's no product buildup on it. Um, that just helps your hair from not smoking and smelling. Also put a heat protectant on it. I like to use a heat protectant that is more or less like a serum when the hair is wet after I've conditioned it. I'll put that in the hair just because it's less heavier on the hair. So that is one of the suggestions that I would highly suggest doing prior to flat ironing the hair. You can also make sure when you are flat ironing it to take it in small sections. I'm not saying like really tiny sections, but just enough, probably like at least about, I would say like at least about this amount per flat iron, per straighten or per pass through, I would take about this amount. If you don't, you're gonna have to do a couple of pass throughs. So in all, it probably took me like an hour to flat iron this hair like seriously a minute, but it does crinkle back up or it does get that kinky, kinky kind of like texture once you wash it again so just be aware that once you flat iron it it will revert back to its kinky straight or kinky texture blend now I have curled it I don't really like it too curl because for one I didn't put layers in it and I really don't want to cut this hair because I love it the way it is more or less I wear it you know just in a kinky straight texture you girls have seen me on like loads and loads of videos with it other than that um, it does tangle a tiny bit a lot of people have asked me what do I do to minimize the tangling with every wig that I've ever owned whether it be virgin hair color treated hair or synthetic hair they all tangle in the nape area and that is just from a brushing up against your neck, your clothing, your seating, it's always going to happen but the best thing to do would be to get like a brush like this to kind of like detangle it underneath. Um, with synthetic wigs you more or less will have to sometimes overall like over a period of time you will need to trim underneath the nape area and that's with the synthetic wig. But with this one, it doesn't tangle as bad as like I've had with other kinky straight wigs. Um, like my best lace wigs and I'm probably because I've had it for so long and I always wear that one a lot. It will tangle a little bit more in the nape area so it takes me a lot more work to do with detangling that particular one. But with this one, I just take my fingers and I just run it through and it's good. And then I hang it back up on this mannequin head and it's good to go. But the hair is like absolutely amazing. It does flat iron easy, but like I said, because it's thicker hair, it does take a little bit longer. It has not shed. It has not broken off at the ends. I love the way it came out, as you girls seen in the actual tutorial. If you haven't, I'll post the video for you below. The hair does not come like this with the dark roots. The closure is actually all one solid color. So when you get their hair, it will be one solid color. In my first prior video tutorial, I did show you how I went about just darkening the roots of the closure along with the wefting tracks as well because I wanted everything to just blend and make it look like it's just growing out of my hair naturally. So it's a really easy task and it took really well to the hair dye. This is just box dye that I use to dye the closure and it's in a color dark brown. I think this was color silk. Um, I paid like three, four dollars for the box of hair dye. Just really simple, simple, easy task. I take a mascara wand that's clean and I just, you know, brush it onto the hair. But other than that, I love the hair. Like it's amazing. They have a lot of different varieties of colors when it comes to Nubian Bar. They have this one, they have lighter, like an auburn, burgundy, red. They have like an array of different colors. So when I got this color for Kinky Straight, I was like floored. Like seriously, I love this hair. 
it goes well with my complexion it just gives me like this different look and I really really am feeling it and you girls see I wear this hair all the time when it's really hot out though I will put it in like a corn roll on the side and tuck it underneath and I'm good to go but when I wear it flat or straight and more or less like this I don't really have to do too much but just leave it like this and I'm good it's not a lot of hair it's full it's three full bundles I did have to split the track more or less to right here because I'm one who likes to show their tracks really really close because I just like a lot of hair but with kinky straight hair you really don't need more than three bundles unless you're getting like long long tracks like I'm gonna say like 26 inches and above or beyond that then you will need like four tracks at least because the longer the length the shorter the webkin track so if you're doing something like this which was 22 inches 22 and 20 then three bundles will be suffice for you you can always split the top or split the track when you get to the top and I kind of like to split my tracks at the top because it does allow it to lay flatter it's not bulkier so it just more or less lays flush to my scalp and it looks more natural and as for my parting a lot of people ask me how do I do my parting I do my parting when I wash the wig so once I create the wig and I wash and condition it while the conditioner is sitting in the actual wig I do put on a mannequin head I take my comb like this and I make the part whether it be the right middle or left that is when I make the part while the hair is still wet and being conditioned and then I'll brush the part into it and then I'll rinse the hair out of course when you rinse the hair out a little bit of the part may kind of like get a little messy you can always hold it down but you can always fix it once you're done rinsing it out you can always easily fix it these are the best combs to use which is the rat tail combs and I prefer the metal ones because their ends are a lot sharper opposed to the actual um, plastic ones so these are the best to use and parting your hair while it's wet is like the best way to do it it's the easiest way plus you get the most natural looking part and it always lays flat um, when I want to change the part in my hair I do the exact same thing I'll wash it and I'll brush the part out and then I'll train a new part in my hair and that's just basically what I do with this but overall the experience with Nubian bar hair this hair is like has been so good and this is one of my favorite wigs and I think it has a lot to do with the texture because I love kinky straight hair plus it, I know it has to do with the color like this color number 10 is like the bomb like seriously it's kind of like to me like um in between like a blondish and a brownish or like an auburnish color it's not like fully blonde it's like a, a sandy blonde more or less like a very sandy blonde and I like this color a lot because it's me I like to do like the really light colors but when it's comes to like blondes or really light browns sometimes it's hard for me to choose a color because even though I am of a lighter complexion sometimes those colors just don't go well with me so this one is like my favorite color out of all the wigs that I've ever made or worn this color has been the best color for me and I absolutely love it so I will post all their information for you girls below where you can pick up their hair um, they do have like I said different textures different colors so if you're looking for something that's already colored then check them out they have some amazing hair and this is like one of my favorites so on that note all the information for Nubian bar along with the first video to this wig will be posted for you girls below so that way you know how to dye your closure without getting any hair dye on the lace and as well make sure you rate comment subscribe stay diva and divalicious and I'll see you girls on my next video